Hi, I'm Gian and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you one of my most requested recipes and that is for black cake. Black cake is a staple in most Caribbean households at Christmas time. It's even served at weddings. It's made from rum soaked fruits and a lot of warm spices. This results in a rich, dense, decadent cake. This is something that is surely a treat. Please stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how to get it done. First step is to prepare the fruits. We're going to use a combination of candy cherries, raisins, prunes, dried citrus peel, and currants. The fruits can be soaked well in advance, up to a year, in rum. Um, today I'm going to start by blending the fruits together with rum, just to show you how the process is. Please only do this if you have a high-powered blender or food processor. If not, soak the fruits in rum for at least a day and then blend them. Blend the fruits until they are finely chopped, but just before it becomes a paste. The fruits are nicely blended and still has a bit of texture. Now you can take this and store it in a dark cool place with a bit of extra rum for months at a time. To bake the cake, we're going to start by greasing and lining two 9 inch cake pans. We're going to line the bottom with parchment paper. Preheat the oven to 275 degrees. Then in a mixing bowl, combine flour, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, nutmeg, mace and cloves and stir to combine. Place room temperature butter and sugar into a mixing bowl and we're going to mix this up until it's light and fluffy. Add eggs one at a time, making sure to mix well in between each addition. You want the eggs to be nicely incorporated into the mixture before adding the next egg. Now once all the eggs are mixed in, we're going to add vanilla and almond extract. Next, we're going to add our rum soaked fruits. I did this in two steps, but you can do it all at once. Mix together until the fruit mixture is evenly distributed throughout the batter. This is a lot of batter, so we're going to transfer it to a large mixing bowl. Next, we're going to add the cake color or burnt sugar. This is going to give the cake its dark color once it bakes up. Next, we're going to fold in the dry ingredients.
after mixing in the flour, I added a little bit more of the cake coloring because the batter still wasn't dark enough. Don't add too much of the cake coloring or it will become bitter once it's baked. Next, I added a quarter cup of rum and stirred that in. Now your cake is ready for the oven. Divide this evenly between the two 9-inch pans that you prepared earlier and place into preheated oven. Bake the cakes for two and a half hours. Prick the cake in the center with a toothpick to test to see if it's done. If the toothpick is clean, the cake is done. Now prick the cake all over using the toothpick. We're doing this so once we pour the rum on top, it will soak right in. While the cake is hot, we're gonna pour about a quarter cup of rum over each cake and allow it to soak in. This makes the cake really moist and also helps to preserve it. Once the cake has cooled completely, we're gonna now remove it from the pan. Now remove the parchment paper from the bottom. And that's it, you're done. Now, this cake can be stored at room temperature. What you need to do is to pour just a little bit of rum over it every two to three days and wrap it tightly in cling wrap. This helps to preserve it and to keep it moist. Thank you for watching and please be sure to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below. The link to the recipe with full description and measurements is in the description box. See you guys next time.